Hey guys, and welcome back to more live fire grilling with Lumber Capital Log Yard. We are going to be trying out a couple new recipes today. This includes a sweet potato dish as well as grilled asparagus with lemon and feta. For the protein, we're going to be grilling up some burgers. My mouth is already watering, so let's get started. All right, first off, we have to get the burgers on because they are going to take the longest to cook. So, Dad, go ahead and start loading them on there. As far as the seasoning, it's just fresh uh, pepper with salt and a little bit of garlic powder. For the asparagus dish, we have three tablespoons olive oil and about a fourth of a teaspoon salt and black pepper freshly ground. We have one whole lemon that has been zested and juiced. And then for the last touch, we have our feta. Right now, off the bat, the first thing that we're gonna do is pour some of our olive oil on, about two thirds of it. We're just gonna drizzle it on just like that and then add our salt and pepper. Now we're just going to get this all stirred up and get these out to the grill before we add the rest of our ingredients. All right, these only need to go on for about three to five minutes. We don't like our vegetables super overcooked, really soggy, we like them on the crispier side. So we're only going to be grilling these up for a few minutes. So, so char marks. <laughs> char marks, right, okay. exactly. That's my special. While the asparagus is on the grill, we have to start on our sweet potato dish. And the first step is to saute the garlic and uh, herbs here. So we're gonna start out by just pouring some oil in this little cast iron dish. And we're gonna heat up the oil first before we pour in our garlic and herbs. So let's get this on the grill. The herbs that we're going to be using in the sweet potatoes is some thyme fresh out of the garden, some hot chili flakes, and then I believe like six cloves of garlic, the more the better, honestly. So once that oil is nice and hot, we're gonna pour this in there and saute it until the garlic is soft. Hey, we have got a lot of people here tonight. Uh, we have family in from Florida, and we are very excited uh, to be just doing burgers and fresh vegetables and potatoes on the grill. Uh, the whole meal is going to be cooked on the grill. And when I got into barbecuing 10 or 12 years ago, my favorite go-to guy was Bobby Flay. And this is one of his recipes for um, potatoes on the grill. So we're gonna be adding what we have here to the oil uh, that is now heated. And we're getting real close to pulling our asparagus off, which is gonna go back inside and become its own um, own dish. But, so let's just get this added. I had the burgers off to the side of the heat and we have to get the potatoes done. Yet yeah, we'll get those charred up and then we're gonna cut them into wedges. All right, our sweet potatoes have been boiled until just tender and now we are going to actually just quarter them and then move on to the next step. After we have cut up all of our sweet potatoes, we're going to brush on some oil and then grind some salt onto them and then get these out onto the grill for those char marks we're always talking up so much.
Okay, let's get the asparagus off. I'll give that to my wife. She's gonna take that inside and she has a plan for that. But we have it charred with that awesome wood grill flavor. And I have to be quick here. I need to get those burgers off the heat. All right, for the last touches, we're just going to add on all of that flavoring that we grilled. It's really good. Just make sure that you get it on every one. It takes a little bit of time, but honestly, it's gonna be really good. And we can't forget our fresh parsley. This is going to make it just taste absolutely amazing. That's it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time.